Right, for Atari, we're going to use Stella. All we do is we load the Stella program up. I go into the Stella folder and run in Stella. And you'll get this box here. And all we do is tell it whereabouts the ROMs are. And we're playing classic Pitfall. I swing on the rope and I've got to jump over the crocodiles. Listen to the sound effects on that. This is real gaming, and the Atari only had one button orange fire button. None of this multi button rubbish you kids play with. No, sorry, Bob, this is real gaming. Let's look at the graphics. Oh, I've been swallowed up by the floor. I didn't see that coming. So I've jumped there, fell down the end there, jumped the barrel, and I've got to swing on this rope to get across the blue water. Oh, I didn't jump it. I fell down the uh, hole. Let's try again. Oh, I've come down this way. Right. Jump the campfire. And falling down a hole again, which isn't very good. So I to emulate an Atari 2600 on a Mac. Now for the NES, we are using Nestopia. And all we're going to do is double click on the NES icon. And this is shareware. It's going to ask us to register, but I'm going to register later. It's found our ROMs. We can play Mario Brothers 3, and we're going to play it full screen. I'm using a USB SNES pad for all of this, all the emulators. There we go, this is Mario Brothers 3. And this would be just like playing on a real NES, a world one. One. Yeah, we don't marry a three this side. I don't know why I'm playing NES games because I'm from the UK. I don't know anybody had an NES, and if you did have an NES, you just got laughed at. What I knew, I didn't even have a Master System or Mega Drive. Or Super Nintendo. This is how we relate a NES. We're going to use Fusion 363i for Mega Drive and Mars System. We are going to click on the KGN folder and we are going to tell it where the ROMs are. We're going to load a Master System ROM up. Again, I'm using my USB SNES pad. We played this full screen at to be, didn't it? Fantasy Zone. Favourite game of all time on the Master System. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant game. You guys again, we've got to destroy all the bases. Get to the end of the level. This is how we emulate a Master System on the Let's get a laser beam. No, I can't. As much as I really want to, I can't sit here playing this all day. Such a good game. Look at it. Look at it. Such a great game. Again, we click the Cajun um, icon and we're going to load a Mega Drive game up this time. Play some classic Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega. Go Sega logo, and we're going to go full screen on this one. Even the up, down, left, right, cheek work. There you go. And we're on the green. What's our next one? Again, we're using USB SNES pad to play this. If you'd said someone back in the day, you'd be playing in 20 years or so time, you'd be playing Mega Drive games on a, on a PC or Macintosh using a SNES pad, you'd be like, ooh, mm, Vico, stupid. Yeah, so now you can. USB Mega Drive pads, Saturn pads, yeah, PlayStation controllers, you can get USB and 64 controllers at night. 
I'm using the USB SNES pad to play my emulator. This is how you emulate a Mega Drive Cajun Fusion 363i on a Macintosh. And for Commodore 64, we are going to use a Vice, and it will emulate other Commodore systems as well. So you click the C64 icon. And we load a smart load disk. And again, we tell it where the ROMs are and go full screen. There we go, LWT, you play your cards right. Look at Bruce Forsyth's tune. It's nice to see you, to see you nice. Right, LWT, Friday night, 10 past 5 after CITV. And then 6 o'clock, you had that um, Mark Laspel show, whatever it was, 6 o'clock show. None of this ITV1 rubbish that's out there today. Real entertainment. Don't touch the pack and we'll be right back. Yeah, great game. Play your cards right on a Commodore 64. They've done the Bruce's chin when it started up. Got to dig the old uh, play your cards right music. So again, you've got a computer put 62 and I've got to select higher or lower. I push lower and I won. So high and two. I thought ace was one, but I'll do. High and six, you say? Do. Great entertainment on a Friday night. LWT, play your cards right. And for the Topographic 16, we're going to use TGEMU. That might have been an email from Jolly Boys or text from the Jolly Boys. We're going to click on the PC Engine icon and we're going to. Hit share where again. And we're going to tell it where the ROMs are. And we are we're playing Fantasy Zone on a Turbo Graphics 16. The difference in this compared to the Master System version. The Turbo Graphics is an 8 bit system with two, two 8 bit cores, so really it's 16 bit. It's a very good system, we didn't get it over here in the UK. Get it on, and put on this up and like Telegraphic 16 on a Macintosh. Looking for a fan? 